It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Julio Tehran gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What's your take on him, H? Matt, I like this guy. He is a really good pitcher. An ERA just a little over three last season. He's usually pretty tough on the opponent. He's going to keep you in the game and give that manager some opportunities late in the game to get a W. I like what this guy brings, and maybe he'll bring it today. Here's D. Leaving Gordon up, now. And we are ready for some Second daytime baseball. baseball. Number nine. And we are underway from SunTrust Park as the first pitch of the afternoon misses taken for ball one. Here's a swing and a ground ball but a foul ball one and one. Our temperature 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he bunched him up a bit as this is lined softly over first. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Lead off hitter, and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a lead off double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position, one batter into the game. Martin Prado now career numbers against Julio Tehran and even 10 hits in 27 at bats. First pitch on its way. Uh, yeah, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Well, Matt, Woody used the calls a pretty nice game back there, although consistency has been an issue brought up with him in the past. We'll see if it comes into play. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's back to back breaking balls away but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Good lead there at second here's the pitch and here's a ball hit in the air and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh that's one he's going to want back right there a fastball right in your wheelhouse and you foul it. Now a swing and a fly ball. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Throw won't get him. Well, sometimes you see diving catches that happen because of a bad route, but that certainly wasn't the case here. That's an exceptional route efficiency as calculated by Show Track, and it's evident it was a big reason why he was able to lay out and bring that one in. In is Christian Yelich. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Ciarte's there. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Giancarlo Stanton now. 
Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago, so now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And this oh. had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Pitch on the way. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Now the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chasing after it is Inciarte. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Wei-Yin Chen, a Taiwan native, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, this guy's not going to blow you away. He's a consistent major league pitcher. Look, his ERA last year a little bit over four, but he takes the baseball. And he's a guy that's going to take his lump, but he's going to keep coming back at you. And I think we'll probably see that kind of performance today. Here's Ender in Ciarte. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ender in Ciarte. And this one's oh. not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. one. Takes a high Wait fastball for a strike. strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Dear a God. swing and a miss at a ball down. Now a hard liner. That's a foul ball. But this is a foul ball. And they'll try to get two, him fishing two. there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Yelich. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. I Nine suppose seconds. this is why you usually have the best defensive outfielder in center field. He got a good read on it, charges in hard, and made a fabulous grab. Look for that one to make the highlight reels later on. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score.
Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. The 0 1 pitch. Runner goes. Pitch is a cold strike. He's in there. And it's hey. far too late as he steals second with ease. Looks like they're trying to be aggressive on the base pass in order to get that run back they give up at the top of the first. I like that, especially early in the game. So we'll see if they can drive him in now. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and this one's in the dirt. Pro goes over to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. A man at third with one away. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably wanted that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matty, how about Dansby Swanson? He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. So here's Matt Kemp now. Career numbers against Chen. Two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. Chen sets. First pitch on its way. Ball one. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. Here it comes, 1-0. Swing and a liner. But this will be foul. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Riamuto is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the second now at SunTrust Park. The Marlins lead it one to nothing.